we're heading to Hilton Head Island in South Carolina. We dropped off our car, got some bikes and a bike rack, and we're on our way. We will be in South Carolina by Sunday. Jayla hasn't driven in a while. I've been doing the driving in the RV. Everything's back to normal. Uh -huh. this, this mirror is tilted down. Yeah, it is. You gotta push it. Is it good now? She's the driver. We forgot some things, had to return back to the car. But what did we come here for? Drove all the way out of our way. All right, so initially it was for these cables right here. There, I found some quarters for laundry. Cannot forget the gift cards that were given to us. It's a travel day, so we get to eat out. You ready for a ride? Last night we stayed at another Walmart just south of Asheville and I think this one has been our favorite so far. We're in this nice little cozy corner over here next to a creek. Um, everything's kind of surrounded by trees and they just have so much parking that we're completely out of the way from the main store. There's also a couple vanners and other RVers here too. So it does feel just a little safer knowing we're not alone. This is our third day of travel now uh, to Hilton Head and today we just got another four and a half hour drive and we'll be at the beach again. So one of our friends gave us some cat treats and as you can see, they love it. All right, now it's time to go. We're in South Carolina. We're almost there. All right, we made it, just got to check in. Uh, it's a very interesting process here. They have to escort you to the site uh, due to, to insurance reasons uh, from what I read. So um, we're gonna try to get to our site and then head to the beach. All right, so I got us checked in. We're just waiting on a valet to take us to our site. Uh, just everyone seems really nice. The facilities are nice. And uh, the lady said that everything is close by. So it's just so beautiful. I mean, the trees and the nature, uh, it is a nature preserve. <laughs> they said there are alligators and snakes around here. So gotta be on the lookout for that. But I mean, it's just, it's just beautiful. Once we get to our site, we're gonna check in and then meet our friends at the beach. And then we're gonna do a real tour of the place, uh, kind of show everything that's here. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We made it. This, this is a privately owned um, spot, but this is, they have like, uh, I guess like lawn furniture and stuff set up, propane tank holder, plenty of room for entertaining. You just have this nice private oasis back here. Oh look, there's like a step. You got a really like tall Our hookups. So there's water here. Uh, they offer cable for free apparently. And then on the other side is our electric. And I believe each site, I believe each site comes with their own dump. Yeah, very beautiful. There's a, we gotta read some instructions because each site is privately owned. Um, I think when I looked on prices and stuff, you can buy one for about $100,000. It was cheaper back then. It's like real estate. This is just awesome. Just so many sites and just, it's just so pretty. I mean, there's literally trees and we're, we have a whole canopy above us. All right, what do the instructions say? So it mainly talks about um, putting the furniture back as it was. Don't sit on the chair arms. Um, this is for the fire. There's a fire pit apparently. Oh, okay. but oh, it's this right here. Okay. Oh, so there's a fire pit, but you do have to use your own propane tank. They do not provide that. So I think that's pretty much it. They just say, you know, after weather, um, after rain, just put uh, the awning back or the kind of patio shade back how it was. 
Tony and Tina, don't worry, we're gonna take care of your spot. This is one of the nicest places we've been at. It was 120 a night, so yeah, it's expensive. They don't even allow trailers here, or Class Bs, or vans, or any conversion. Pretty much it has to be a motor home, or a motor coach is the name for it. Uh, we're surrounded by Class As and uh, really big ones, but you do see a little bit of Class Cs around here too. So, so yeah, they're, they're it's fancy. That's all I can say. But it's it was the only option to be on the island. We're a 10 minute bike ride from the beach, so we had no other choice. We even washed the RV to fit in and make sure that everything looked good. So really committed to keeping the place clean. Okay, today our friends picked us up and we went to another part of the island called uh, Sea Pines to Harbor Town. And we're standing on, uh, we're standing near a marina and we're trying to find the Salty Dog store. I've seen those shirts all my life. Uh, I didn't know this was the place here. So uh, we're gonna try to find that. And then uh, there's a famous lighthouse too that I've seen. So we're gonna explore that. We found the shirts, the t-shirt factory. i um, gonna get a shirt just because I think it's kind of cool. Everything is salty dog here. Kind of reminds me of Bucky's. We found the store, we got our shirts, got some free taffy, and now we are headed to lunch. We just ate at the Salty Dog Cafe. Uh, the food was really good. We got really lucky because we got here really early and like within 30 minutes, just the whole place was packed. Made it to Harbor Town, and now we're on our way to the lighthouse. I'm actually very excited because I've always seen this before on stickers, so it's just cool to actually see it in person after so many years. The winery had too long of a wait and we just want to do something quick. So we're going to try to find something else. We just got back from the brewery and we're going to go to the beach. I'm wearing my new shirt. We've been riding for about 10 minutes each way um, to get to the beach. So it's been, it's been really nice. On the way to the beach, we stopped and got these chairs these beach chairs, and then when I was bending down to put it on, my sunglasses fell, um, the lens fell out, and we couldn't find the screw, so I had to get new sunglasses too. <laughs> it's like we're trying to hurry to the beach and all these things are happening. But yeah, we made it to the beach, uh, this kind of where we've been coming to. It's the Holiday Inn Beach House, and right in the back they have a tiki bar, and I think it's only one of the few places here that has live music almost every day. Uh, but the weather is perfect today, so it's a really nice day for a beach. I think they went to the same spot, that's what they said. We've been really liking this beach. Um, the sand is white, it's really nice. Uh, the tide here is just so crazy. Um, hopefully I can capture some of it, but pretty much over here, the water just, uh, the water gets all the way over here and then it goes back all the way over there. So yeah, I was talking about the tide earlier and it's all the way over there now. I think it's one of the like, um, most extreme tides I've seen. I've just never seen uh, this much of the beach like uh, lose and gain water. Um, but yeah, and the water today is actually very clear and blue, green-like. Um, I don't know if there were storms or anything like that, but uh, it just looks a lot better now. So um, our friends are over there in tubes, so I'm about to blow one up and join them. <laughs> Halfway there, maybe a third.
Well, the camera that we film with is a GoPro and it's waterproof. So I thought, you know, why not take it out there? Because it was really fun just floating out there. Right now, the water is very calm and the waves are very little and it feels like you're on the lake, but the waves pick you up a little every time and it's just really fun. All right, so we made it out here. Ooh. Wow, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh. oh. Uh, I, <laughs> that was not planned at all. The last two days that we've been out here, it's been very uh, high waves. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh gosh, another one. It's like a water park. Taking it life one wave at a time. Oh, yeah. So some guy just caught a shark and everyone's running to it. Wow. Wow. Is that a great white? <laughs> he's, he's releasing it. Don't worry. Good day on the beach today. It's almost six o'clock, so we're gonna go get ready for dinner. Uh, but today's just been a nice, fun-filled day. We saw most of the island. Uh, the lighthouse was cool. There was some construction going on, but um, just this place is just really cool. I'm good, how are you? Tell me to put your bag in the back. <laughs> Jayla's lift just got here and she's on her way to the airport because she's flying to New York uh, for a couple of days for her friends. So we've already been here for a week, so it was a nice vacation. I'm gonna continue staying here and I'm actually gonna have a friend stay with us. It'll be the first overnight uh, RV stay that anyone's done with us and soon I'm gonna go through all the amenities and kind of show you what this place offers and kind of just give you more of a tour of it because uh, there's all these different spots uh, over 400 and some are by the clubhouse some are by the uh, there's a lake here too and most of them are just considered forests so um, I do want to show you that Here's the bathroom, which is really nice. And there's even a view of Times Square in here, right next to the toilet. Today is our last day at the resort, and this place has just been great so far. Um, I just can't say enough good things about it. It's just so beautiful out here. Uh, but before we go, I wanted to show you uh, kind of like the amenities here and what what also you get uh, besides the spot that you're staying at. So let's check it out. Hi there. Hey. There are six tennis courts here and uh, you're free to play on them. Uh, tennis isn't really our thing, so we haven't tried it, but if you like tennis, this is definitely nice. Even the tennis courts are surrounded by nature. It's just really cool. That's definitely my favorite part about this place. And right next to the tennis courts is the clubhouse and the pool. So first, let's start with the clubhouse. So there's someone actually in there using it right now. Uh, so I don't want to I don't want to talk in there. I don't want to be too loud, but I'm just gonna kind of show you what it looks like. There's also a really nice bathroom and shower here that you can use. Um, especially, it's good especially if you have many people in the RV. Uh, but it's very clean and it uh, feels very comfortable. Then there's also the laundry room here, which we've already used. It's, it's very affordable. They have many washers and dryers. Everything's just new and everything looks really nice. That's kind of it for the clubhouse. So there is an upstairs section, but that is for owners only. Um, 
guests can use everything at the resort, but uh, the clubhouse is owners only. And then right next to the clubhouse is the pool. And uh, there's like a little play area. You can play uh, cornhole. They have a basketball court, some playground equipment, some swings. I just like how everything is in the shade. Uh, even parts of the pool are in the shade so you can relax without getting beat by the sun. There's also a food truck area that they have and different kinds of food trucks come so you don't even have to leave to get some really nice food. And then the last kind of amenity here is a dog park. It's right outside the main gate. Uh, but it's just an area uh, for a dog to run around and play without a leash. They're very dog friendly here, so uh, pets, pets are really welcome here. When you first arrive here, you have to wait at one of the spots uh, so that they can take you to your spot. Um, a little golf cart rides in front of you and uh, shows you where to go. It is a gated community, so it does feel safe to leave your belongings out and just bikes. You don't have to lock anything up. Uh, it's just a very nice community here. They do offer uh, valet trash here too. You just set out your trash bag uh, before 10 a.m. Um, and they have these little flower pots everywhere and they take it out every day so you don't even have to go to the dumpster. Of course, every spot has water and electricity, uh, but there's also sewer here. So we've just been staying and not have to move. Uh, just, I think this is the first time we've done that where just the water and all the sewage just runs off um, into the drain. And so the last thing I can say about this place is that there's also a lake and so some of the spots have uh, water views and it's really cool um, we're not staying on the lake property uh, but if we come back i would definitely check it out some of them have decks uh, overlooking the water and it just kind of gives you uh, this expansive view it just makes you feel more open um, it does not feel crowded here uh, due to the trees but uh, the lake does offer some nice views yeah that's that's about it uh, we pay about 120 a night um, but it was very worth it we're just a 10 minute bike ride from the beach um, there's trails going directly to the beach and uh, just our experience with the staff and everyone here has just been so positive it's it's a really nice place it is beautiful and i think it is this is the america's or world's most luxurious rv resort i think i can say that for sure We're going to the beach one last time. It's a very nice day out today, pretty hot. Uh, Jayla and I have been riding bikes this whole time. Uh, it's about a 10 minute bike ride. As soon as you leave the RV resort, everything's just around you. There's so many places, Ooh, almost lost my hat. There's so many places around and uh, it's just a very nice bike ride too. A good way to see the town. Jayla's still in New York, so I've been hanging out with my friend Pasha. Howdy. Spring break, woo! Maybe you just wanna go to the gas station? <laughs> Once we cross the road, we get on this trail and it takes you directly to the beach. Uh, there's over 60 miles of trails on this island, so the whole the whole area is very bike friendly. If you're coming here, definitely bring your bike or uh, get one to rent. It's really fun riding around. We've been eating lots of good food on the island, and uh, surprisingly, it's very affordable. It's not that expensive. However, we did find out that uh, the further you go away from the beach, the better the food gets. 
there's a lot to check out, lots of different cuisines and styles. Oh, my hat just flew off. It's really windy today. It's been so calm this whole week. So maybe the waves are gonna be big today too. Unfortunately, we have to leave this amazing place, but today is our last day. I'm gonna take my friend to the airport. Also, a good thing I checked because I left my shoes here. <laughs> they were under the RV. So I've been waiting at the Hilton Head Island Walmart near the airport for Jayla to arrive. Uh, she was supposed to come around four o'clock, but then she calls me and lets me know that her flight's canceled. So I helped her find a flight and the closest one that she could come today that was reasonable was uh, Charleston, which is like two hours away in South Carolina. So I got a, got a two hour drive uh, solo. I don't think I've ever done it before. Jayla's always been following me in the car or has been in the car with me. So it's gonna be interesting. I got some Wendy's. My favorite's the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. It's like uh, Jayla got me to try it. And once I did, I was like Squidward in, uh, in that episode where he tries the Krabby Patty. It's just so good. It's just the perfect size. Um, but yeah, just gonna take a snack and uh, head to the airport. I uh, thought the trip was gonna be over. I thought the video was gonna be over, but we still got a little bit more today. I made it to Charleston and I'm again at another Walmart. Jayla just said that she landed at the airport. I'm gonna go get her. And it's already like getting late, like six, seven o'clock. So I think we're just gonna end up at another Walmart today. Home sweet home. 